Welcome back. Still to come, pop princess Natasha Bedingfield on songwriting, soulmates and going stateside. Plus, she's singing live as well. And uh, she may be the toughest doctor in Holby, but is motherhood enough to tame her? Steely surgeon Connie Beecham, that's actress. Amanda Mealing is here in 10 minutes' time. First, though, we're back with Dr. Chris uh, discussing genetic testing along with Dr. Paul Jenkins, who will be revealing Chris's results, and Sandy Warner, who took the test earlier this year. Paul, I'd like to start with you, actually. Um, what is the test? How does it work? Why should I take it? Um, it's a very simple test, which is looking at your, your body's DNA. All of our genes in the body, we have two copies, one from my mother, one from my father, um, and our genes sometimes, although vast majority are the same, you can have some which are slightly not working the same way as the others. Um, and this test allows you, to, for the first time, to determine your genetic predisposition to those most common diseases which affect us later on in life. And why would I want to know that? Well, because in virtually all cases, there's an awful lot that we can do about it. We know that for most diseases, 50% of your chance of getting them is lifestyle, 50% is genetic. And until now, we haven't had the ability to know what that genetic component is. And if you do know it, you can take your steps in your lifestyle to minimise your overall, um, overall risk. So when, if, I, if I was to decide, and I'm talking to Chris about this, I'd wrestle with this, or more normally, if there's anything on offer, I think, oh, I'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll blow down there, uh, test my lungs, I'll, oh, yes, prick the finger, test my blood sugar, whatever, I'll do any of that. And I, this one, I thought, oh, God, I don't know whether I want to know. Um, well, if, if someone decided they did want to know, uh, apart from the fact it's about 800, 825 pounds, um, they sent a, a form and some swabs. Well, we speak to them first. And, and ensure that they have all the information they need. They have given a detailed um, information sheet and a consent form, and if they are then happy with it and have understood the implications, they then sent a simple swab. You swab uh, the inside of no, each of your Swab in the inside oh, of your mouth. Yeah, yeah, there there you are, yeah. yeah. And inside that's all it is. Just swab the inside of your mouth, yeah. fill out the form, and send it back. How long does it take before you get the results? About two to three weeks. And then after that, you then have a consultation with either myself or one of our say, other what, consultants. What, what happens if, if somebody has that test and you find out something not very nice? Mm. Is there some backup, some counselling or advice that you offer mm. by phone? No, 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 in no. person. Right. So we're the only company that actually offers that medical uh, yeah. follow-up, which we believe is essential. You know, m my father has Alzheimer's, mm. so I'm not sure I want to know because I maybe am genetically... Uh, prone to having it and there was really very little I could do about it so I think I would rather not know what about something like Alzheimer's that people can't change or can't do anything about absolutely and I, sh I share that concern and that's why for Alzheimer's we ask people to specifically consent separately for that that they're aware of the implications that there probably at the moment isn't too much that we can do about yeah. it but for all of the other diseases that we um, look for there's an awful lot that you can do right Chris yes. you've got your results Yes, this is from... And you were nervous getting them as well, weren't uh, you? No, uh, well, I mean, I, I, I didn't think twice about that. Yes, I'll go for that, definitely. And I'd like to know if I was at high risk of Alzheimer's. I know I can't do a thing about it, but I can put my affairs in order. And I'd like to know if I'm at risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, cholesterol, mm -hmm. cancers, etc. I mean, this is absolutely tremendous. And, mm -hmm. yeah, this is, you've got a report here, which is sort of 60 pages. And I'm sitting last night reading this, thinking these are my genes I'm reading about. It's, it's very scientific indeed, but comes out with a very nice assessment at the end telling you what sort of risk you're at. Now, for example, um, if I can just show this to camera, th this is showing my risk of osteoporosis and, and fracture. You see, and I'm right down at this end in the green. Mm -hmm. Now, just let me show you where my cancer risk is because I am at increased risk of cancer. And on that same sort of uh, rainbow, um, there's the green, and I'm up in the red. Then, Chris, could people not, you know, as, as a GP, could you not say, well, me, men aren't so prone to, to bone cancer and things because, you know, women are more prone to that because of the oestrogen and things. And also... Oh, it's going to be tailored male, female, as though, isn't Yeah, it? as yes. you've discussed on the programme, we know you've had skin cancer, so I presume you fill that in when you're filling the form. Could somebody not say, well, I could have kind of told you that, really? Yeah, but, I mean, skin cancer, you know... It, yeah, that, but the type I had was nothing. It's exposure to sun. But um, my cancer risk, well, Paul, you, you tell us, well, what's my risk there with cancer? Well, um, Chris has um, some abnormally functioning genes which lower the um, activity of the detoxifying enzymes. And especially if he was a smoker, he would have something like a 700% increased risk of lung cancer. 
But now you know that, yeah. what do you do now? Well, of course, I mean, I don't smoke, but I'm at increased risk of bowel cancer. And, of course, again, so excellent. It gives you all the advice what to do, mm -hmm. changes in your lifestyle. Yeah. Well, yes, you, sadly, sadly, sadly you did the same thing. Yes. Your father died of cancer at 69, yes. uh, pancreatic cancer. And yes. you, were, you were very concerned that, yes. uh, that, that maybe that would be the, sort of the same fate that would yes. befall you. So you didn't hesitate at taking this test? I was cautious because I'm just an ordinary woman who's on a very tight budget. And this, to me, was a massive amount of money. So I was very worried about, you know, what would the outcome be? Would it be worth that amount of money? But in actual fact, I can say this has liberated me. It's taken my worries away, and it is so easy to understand. What have you, what have you found out? What, I what, found what? out that I shouldn't be taking HRT because I've got a higher risk for thrombosis. Uh -huh. Um, because of my oestrogen level is mass was massively high. That is why I had a, a dreadful um, menopause. So you were on HRT before you... <laughs> yes, got, I've, got, I've gone off it. And I've taken the advice um, from Paul. And, and they're marvellous. They, they, the help that you get is second to none. You are not left worrying about, oh dear, mm. I've got these diseases, I've got them inside me, what will happen? Mm. They help you. Well, they're there is a, a separate form that says, yes, if I'm, yes. If I'm prone to Alzheimer's, I then I, please, I'd like you to tell me, please, mm. or actually don't tell me that one. You mm. tick that I box, and it. what did you find I've out? I've got the sort that will um, be there when I'm older. And that, to me, is forewarned, is forearmed. For I, it's liberating. Why wouldn't anybody don't you, want don't to Don't you know? worry that you're just be worrying about it now? No, so some, if you, I not think at all. That you then you're prone to stress. Me, when you're, yes, when yes. you're 70, Ruth, you might have you know, osteoporosis. I'm going to mm. start worrying now that every ache I get, no. all of this must be the start no, of that No, you can do something about it. You could have a bone scan, which I'm going to have mm. in two weeks. Mm. You can um, increase, you can have vitamin D, you can take extra dairy products. Mm. You can change your lifestyle, which is what I'm doing. It's it's liberating. Well, it should be on the NHS. It's, <laughs> it's, mm. it's absolutely mm. fascinating. We're going to put all the details on our website. So if, mm. you, if you are interested in knowing more about the test, what it tells you, and, uh, and, and, and maybe how to change.